We're going to see here how to use the table environment in order to create numbered captions for our tables. The document we're going to work with is a long document written by Professor Seaton in the department here for his applied calculus class and it explains the rules of differentiation. The reason why I need a large document is because I'm also going to demonstrate to you the rather strange way that LaTeX positions things like tables and figures and so forth. So, on the screen at the moment, you can see the first of two tables that are in this document. The begin and end of the table environment is shown. That is containing the tabular environment that I've just highlighted now. That's how to create a tabular environment is explained in another screencast. And after the begin table, there is a backslash caption command. And inside the caption command is where you explain to the reader, you write the caption for the table, which explains to the reader what the table is about. Immediately after that is a backslash label command, and the meaning and the use of that will be explained in another tutorial. Um, so this is the first table in the document. I'll just scroll down and show you the second table, which is some distance away. There it is. So there's the table, and that is nesting a tabular environment. And again, immediately after begin table, there is a backslash caption, and after that there's backslash label. Notice these things don't have any position requests on them. If LaTeX doesn't see anything immediately after begin table that requests a position location, it will try to position the tables at the top of a page. Just notice that the second table in the later in the tech document here, the uh, code document, is positioned between these two sentences. You've got a sentence that says these rules are given in table, and then backslash ref. Again, backslash ref will be explained in another screen uh, cast. And the sentence underneath the second table is noticed that in the product rule, etc. Um, whereas the first table, the two sentences it appears between are they are stated in table, and the next sentence is first use the statement. So if these were positioned at exactly the place where they appear in the tech file, you would expect the table to be between these two sentences. Now I'm going to process this file. I've positioned the screen in such a way that you aren't able to see the messages underneath in Tech Studio. That's just so that you can see the maximum amount of LaTeX code here but I can see it, and I'll let you know when the exited normally command comes up. So I click the uh, PDF LaTeX, and exited normally has come up, and I now view. Notice immediately before clicking PDF, I positioned the cursor just next to begin table, and the PDF file opens up at that table. This is a nice feature of um, Tech Studio's viewer that you see the part of the document where your cursor was positioned before you press the PDF LaTeX button. Anyway, what we were going to see was to look at the positioning of the table. Notice, by the way, the caption has now has a number on it. So, first of all, I noticed that the sentence underneath the table is not first comma something. Um, that sentence is above the table now. So here we have, we positioned that table, the tabular environment, was positioned in between uh, this sentence, they, the, they are stated in table 1, and first use the statement. So we should be seeing the table in between these two sentences but we're not. It's down here, at the top of the next available page. Now the positioning of the next table, again, notice it's at the top of a page, and the two sentences are down at the bottom of the page. They're down here. 
these are these rules are given in table two and notice that the product rule etc so in the tech file the table was here where I'm uh, moving the cursor but the table itself is positioned at the top of that page as I said if you don't give a position request LaTeX assumes that you meant the tables to be positioned at the top of the closest available page and that's what it has done here so we'll go back to the um, tech file and we'll play around with some of the other positionings the chances are that you would like tables to be positioned at just the position they appear in the tech table and to request that LaTeX does that we use H in square brackets after the begin table and I'm going to do that on both tables so that was the first one second one is down here place a H after it save my file click PDF LaTeX it says exited normally my cursor remember is now just on the second table so where I, where I click PDF I should be looking at the second table and there it is. I had to scroll down a little bit because it was out of your view but I could see the second table at the bottom of the screen and the table is indeed positioned exactly where it was in the tech document so LaTeX has granted our request for table 2 now let's go back up to where table 1 was and see if that request has been granted and no it's still at the top of the tab of the page after the sentences so that didn't make any difference we were told in the earlier part of the this tutorial that there is the option of using an exclamation mark after the h to be insistent on latex positioning it here and just here so i've placed that in and that's Oh, sorry, that's table two, which isn't necessary because it, it worked with table two. Here's table one. Put the exclamation mark and process. It's exited normally. View. And it's made no difference. So even when you put that exclamation mark, it doesn't necessarily ha force LaTeX to move the position of the table. There is one more option, which is to request that the table be placed at the bottom of a page. Uh, and I'll do that with the second table first, because I know something strange happens when I do it on the first one. So if I request the second table is placed at the bottom of a page, save and process, then view bring it up so you can see it remember in the tech file the table was placed here after where it says table 2 but it has been positioned instead at the bottom of that page so whether we ask for it to be put at the top here or at the bottom it works beautifully for table 2 now if I go back and I request that table 1 was po positioned at the bottom of a page bottom and save compile and view hmm it's sort of in the middle of nowhere and that's the end of the document in fact there's table 2 at the end of the document and what LaTeX has done is it's given up trying to place the tables within the document itself and has just dumped them in an, a, on the last page of the document. So it sent the tables off to exile. That can happen when LaTeX finds it just too difficult to comply with your request. It sort of throws its hands up and gives up completely and shoves them all to the end of the document. So I think you can see that it's a little bit eccentric in the way that it follows its rules. They're a little bit hard to get used to, but um, you'll get used to them after a while and come to accept that actually LaTeX decisions about positioning 
are on the whole correct. They might not be what you want, but they are what you need.